everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> so, it's cuffing season. If you guys don't know what that is, it's like, this is the time of the year, everybody's getting together, everybody's starting to have boyfriends and girlfriends, and everybody is just like all coupling and cute right now, except for you. Be like, oh, okay, I need to shut my door. It's kind of an embarrassing topic. So a lot of my friends have like boyfriends or have like a thing with somebody where like you see these couples on Instagram and Pinterest and you just like feel lonely sometimes, you know? But this time of year especially, you're like, oh, this would be so cute to have a boyfriend for. You can go ice skating or do this or da da da. However, the past few weeks, I've had this realization that I'm just so happy being single and I do not want a boyfriend. I only say I want a boyfriend when like I see some cute, I'm like, oh, I want a boyfriend, but I don't actually mean that. I feel like having a boyfriend right now would just be so bad for me because I'm so good right now. I'm so content. I'm actually at one of like the happiest stages of my life right now. Just the fact that everything's so good in my life, I feel like a boyfriend would just ruin it. And as much as I say like, oh, I'm so good right now, sometimes you guys do see videos of me like crying about how terrible my life is. Every few minutes I change my mind. I'm like, oh my God, my life sucks. And oh my God, I have the best life ever. Um, and right now I'm kind of in a, I have the best life ever phase because I feel like it's so empowering just being so good with your life. And like, I did all this, like I made my life so, and wait, there's a little, okay. Is that more even? I don't know. Um, like I did this, you know, I made my life to where it is now and I, made myself happier. My life coach actually gave me this idea that like, this high picture my life. So it's like these sand piles of like family stuff, school, career, boyfriend, like just all these like different relationship things, like sand piles. And I feel like all my sand piles are even except for boyfriend, like it's not even there. It's just like, I don't need it. And I've gotten to the point in my life where all my sand piles are just balanced and I am balanced and I just feel so good. And that if I started to like have a boyfriend then all my other piles would just like, go out of whack and I don't want that to happen. So I don't want a boyfriend. And like, imagine having a boyfriend senior year. Like, I know probably a lot of people watching this maybe do have a boyfriend their senior year of high school and like, that's fine. If you're happy, you're happy. But this video is for people who are single and are sad about it. I just wanna like give you guys some hope. And what I mean by that, it's just like fun to have like freedom and like go to a party and not really worry about like, oh, I'm here with my boyfriend or oh, I can't like talk to other guys or like just hang out who with whoever you want. It's just like so like, not empowering it's just like it's good to have freedom and i do feel empowered being single because i can go wherever and like do whatever and be happy without having a guy with me i don't need somebody to like accompany me like i'm good by myself and also just a little background i've been single for like two years now um ever since i mean i'm only 17 but when i was in high school like ever since i was 14 to like 16 i always had a boyfriend a different boyfriend like if i had a boyfriend for like a month then a few weeks later I would have another boyfriend like I never went a really long period of time in high school without having a boyfriend until now and my last relationship ended right before I turned 16 and it just like absolutely crushed me not even crushed like shattered me I, like my life just broke into pieces after that and it just ended so abruptly that I never really got over it and I feel like a lot of people think that there's a certain time limit for when you should get over somebody but honestly if you guys are like constantly thinking about the same person it's okay like it's normal like i sometimes think like am i insane for thinking about this guy still like i still find myself thinking about that person sometimes but it's not like oh i want to get back together it's just like oh like they were the last like relationship i had you know and so if you're not over something it's okay that's not what this video is about though the point is i thought i could never be happy without him or i thought that i'd always kind of be sad until we got back together and as i've come to understanding that like that's not going to happen and like that's not where my happiness is gonna be found so i keep on like talking with my hands i'm just like a very like visual person and for someone watching this who maybe has gone through a similar situation or feels the same way about being single like you feel like you constantly need a guy or a girl or whoever you're interested in to like make you feel fulfilled and like make you feel like oh i have all my pals together especially the boyfriend pile like you don't need the boyfriend pile you don't need a relationship especially when you're in high school like i mean when you're older obviously like you want to do that and get married and have a family and blah 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 but like when you're 17 you don't need that i feel like a lot of people think oh i need a boyfriend or oh i need a girlfriend or oh i need to have like a thing with somebody and you really don't you can be so happy without that in fact i'm more happy than when i have been in <laughs> those relationships i feel like it's kind of a mature thing to think about like i'm so good on my own in fact this whole like collage board i made i'm gonna make another one just based off like the fact that like I love being single. Like this is like really sad actually if you really deep dive into some of those like quotes and stuff because a lot of this is about that boy. <laughs> and I made this not that long ago, but the point is I am doing good. Like I am so happy and I thought I would never be happy again. But yeah, like in those moments I was like, wow, like I'm never gonna be happy again, which is like 
when you're in that state you just can't see like you're literally like so blinded by everything and you're just like in this dark little tunnel but like there's light at the end of the tunnel even though it's cheesy to say like there really is and like i'm so happy and i feel like i was just watching a interview of demi lovato and i think it was like dr phil who's like asking her like oh like what what would you tell yourself like when you wanted to like end your life and even someone asked me um in a QA that i never filmed i filmed four videos this weekend and i'm just not gonna post any of them because i just hate all of them point is when you're feeling like suicidal and stuff it's like you don't think there's hope you don't think you'll ever be happy again you think you're at your worst and like it just can't get better and it can like i am a living proof you guys know if you guys have watched my videos or followed me along my like journey with like depression and stuff even though i'm not super open about it when i'm in it but, like afterwards i can talk about it i may not understand what you're going through but i understand what you're feeling it's like i didn't even think i was going to graduate high school and look at me now i'm my senior year i'm having so much fun i have all these friends and even my first day of school vlog i was like catch me not having friends in a month and look at me now i have so many friends not that many friends but like i have friends <laughs> and i'm like in such a good place and i'm really happy and i'm just excited for the future something that really helps me is just like journaling like i journal 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 i'll actually show you guys my journal so this is my journal from 2018 and this is my journal from 2019 my 19 one is thicker and it's not even done yet. We still have two more months. <laughs> all of my thoughts and feelings and struggles and happy moments just all put in together. Like this is breakups, this is boys, this is hardships with friends and school and family members, like fights. This is just so much crap. <laughs> it's really nice to like look back on and like I read some of the things in here and I'm like, how was I feeling that upset or like how was I that sad? about a boy or whatever i was so happy and i thought i was falling in love but like no you weren't and then i got broken up with <laughs> like true so i look at this journal and then i look at this journal this is like my sad sad journal because this is like the worst year of my life and then this is the best year of my life it's actually a lot of pressure to talk about just because i don't want to give someone the wrong piece of advice or, like the wrong intentions but my intentions are just to, like give you guys hope i literally painted this i think last year i don't even know i wish i wrote the date on this um it says it's kind of backwards on the camera i think but it says one day it won't hurt anymore like how sad is that and guess what true true um i wrote that i made this when i was really sad and i was like one day it won't hurt anymore but guess what that's today <laughs> because one day it won't hurt anymore like i'm so glad i just found that actually know that one day it won't hurt anymore and one day you'll feel so much stronger for the fact that you pushed through whatever you were going through even though i know it's hard i know it's really hard but you can do it you were given this life because you were strong enough to live it and i have this quote it's like it's just a bad day not a bad life and sometimes i look at that i'm like okay but it's been multiple bad days multiple bad months multiple bad years but it's not a bad life i don't know i hope this video i did start out being happy i'm single and then like depression and suicide i don't know where it took that turn but i just hope that you guys found some hope in this video and you guys may be related to it and if you guys have any questions to ask me about any of this stuff comment down below i'm an open book i'll make tons of videos about any of the subjects you guys want me to talk about and yeah make sure to follow me on instagram and twitter for just more life update things and whatever's going on in my life i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye